Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Soul Land 2 Peerless Tang Men based on novel. So let's start. Flashlight. Who would have expected Ma Rulong to use the class 4 flashlight as his first move against a strong opponent? He used his actions to prove to everyone that the most appropriate weapon was the best weapon. Jiang Peng lost his sight and his burst of forward momentum was halted. Using his left hand to cover his eyes, he quickly retreated using soul power. At the same time, the heaven quake axe revealed an axe projection that protected his body. Compared to him, Ma Rulong seemed a little more relaxed. As the flashlight disappeared from his hand, he remained standing where he was. No one managed to see how he did it, but suddenly, more than ten tiny light bullets rapidly flew out from his back. These light bullets did not fly directly towards his opponent. Instead, they sprayed out in all directions simultaneously. Following that, a loud explosion echoed from different directions on the competition stage. The light bullets may have looked small, but the explosive sounds that they generated were ear-piercing. Amidst the series of explosive blasts, Jiang Peng lost his composure. He frantically waved the heaven quake axe about him, and even used his fourth soul skill to unleash more than ten huge axe projections. Hui Yu Hao was watching very seriously below the stage, he wanted to know how the Sun Moon Empire's soul engineers fought their battles. As a soul master, he wanted to learn how soul engineers dealt with soul masters in battle. He had gained a lot of inspiration from the conversation between Jiang Peng and Ma Rulong. He was especially struck by Ma Rulong's words that only he could understand himself, and that he created his own soul tools. As the battle started, Ma Rulong quickly took the initiative. Hui Yu Hao did not think this was coincidental. Ma Rulong was strong, not in terms of his soul tool, but his accurate judgment of the situation. The first skill he used restricted his opponent's vision and hearing. This method was simply unheard of, so it was no wonder that Jiang Peng was tricked. Of course, the effect wouldn't be the same if this same method was used again. At this point, the soul tool on Ma Rulong's body showed another transformation. A golden cannon that was around a meter long, and with a 3 centimeter caliber, appeared on his shoulder. In the next instant, a streak of thin, blood-red light beam shot out. He maintained a natural and smooth impression as he controlled the soul tool. He did not stop from the start till the end. Almost instantly after the light balls were fired, this golden cannon had already appeared on his shoulder. The very next instant after Jiang Peng's fourth soul skill was completed, explosive bangs sounded all around, and that streak of blood-red light had already appeared before him. At the Soul Emperor level, one would develop astute senses. Jiang Peng was aware of the imminent crisis even though his sight and hearing were both greatly affected when the streak of blood-red light shot out. He subconsciously swung the Heaven Quake axe horizontally in front of him and blocked the streak of blood-red light. There was no booming sound. A small red hole appeared on the Heaven Quake axe after the blood-red light made contact with it. Although Jiang Peng had already shifted his body to dodge, the blood-red light still penetrated his left shoulder. A small, black hole was formed. Hui Yu Hao had never even heard of this type of soul tool before, much less seen it. What was more frightening was that after the red light penetrated through the Heaven Quake Axe and Jiang Peng's body, the defensive barrier created by 108 soul masters together was also penetrated. The air reeked of a burning smell wherever the red light passed. Ear-piercing booming sounds rang out continuously as the huge axe spun rapidly in the air. Thick black light surged out maniacally from the heavenquake axe, and caused its size to rapidly expand. The thick black light was like a black hole that swallowed all the light around it. Even the spectators were petrified as they watched from afar. Ma Rulong also turned serious. He did not attempt to dodge. A strong suction force was being unleashed from the heavenquake axe. Although this suction force was not enough to drag him over, it prevented him from moving from his current position. An indescribable, frightening power suddenly burst forth. Fishes appeared on the ground beneath Ma Rulong, and a strange, black circular symbol took form under his feet. Thick, black flames shot out from the ground. At this point, the pitch-black heavenquake axe that had enlarged to twice its size descended from the sky as it carried a dazzling, black flare. The heavenquake axe's sixth soul skill was the dark demon heavenquake, which was a single target attack that drew the yin fires of hell to unleash the fury of heaven. Its demonic attributes allowed it to lock onto its opponents and destroy everything that was in its path this was Jiang Peng's strongest strike. 
Although he had unleashed it with his sight and hearing impaired, as well as heavy injuries, he still managed to use this strike to lock onto his opponent. In terms of both his timing and judgment of the situation, both were definitely fitting of a sole emperor. At that moment, a layer of blinding golden light surged out from Marulong and covered his body. No matter how powerful the yin fires of hell were, they couldn't penetrate a single inch through that glow. The heavenquake axe released a deafening growl, and the entire competition stage seemed to be on the verge of collapse. Thin cracks began to appear all across the golden barrier. This was an invincible barrier that could defend against an eight-ringed soldoluor for three seconds. It was a sole tool that could only be used once. However, this was on the verge of breaking against the dark demon Heavenquake's single-target attack. Ma Rulong revealed a look of respect. The three seconds that the invincible barrier could be sustained were very short, but it was enough for it to withstand a blow of that caliber. The sole tool on his body changed again. More than fifty metal cannons of different sizes suddenly appeared on his body. Once again, no one could tell how he used the soul tools. It was as if they grew from his body. Following that, the red light ball gently stuck onto his chest. Jiang Peng did not seem to realize even at this point. But suddenly, his body seemed to solidify in that instant, and he froze in the air. Then, what greeted him were countless streaks of light that were assembled before being shot out. Besides a select few of higher cultivations who were aware of what had happened, the only other person who could see what had happened was Hui Yuhao. Hui Yuhao had watched the entire process through his sharp observation skills. He didn't know what that red light ball was, but he guessed that it was a special soul cannon that could hoodwink one's senses. It was not a simple soul cannon that concentrated soul power used by lower skilled soul engineers. The effect of that special soul cannon should have been its ability to temporarily make a person lose all mobility. The instant Jiang Peng was hit, the heavenquake axe disappeared from his hands. Streaks of soul light rays assembled before shooting out, and Jiang Peng's body was sent flying. Although his internal soul power protected his body, his body only stopped flying when he struck the defensive barrier on the other side of the arena. After struggling a little, he slid down from the barrier and fell onto the competition stage. The match had ended. Ma Rulong had obtained an overwhelming victory. The only thing he had sacrificed was the invincible barrier, but with his capabilities, he should be able to procure another one. Higher-level soul engineers were usually wealthy, not to mention that he was even from the illustrious Virtue Hall. After he finished watching the match, Hui Yu Ho let out a long breath. He didn't think that Ma Rulong was very scary. Rather, he was filled with excitement. This was a battle between a soul engineer and a soul master. The feeling that Ma Rulong gave off when he fought was a very natural and smooth one. Yes, it was a natural and smooth feeling. From the very start, Ma Rulong took the initiative. Following that, he relentlessly chained his attacks while reacting accurately to Jiang Peng's changes, using the most suitable soul tool to respond. He seemed to have achieved victory very leisurely. However, the truth was that he would have had to face the continuous attacks of his opponent if he messed up even a single chain attack. Jiang Peng's Dark Demon Heavenquake allowed one to see how frightening a soul emperor's explosiveness was. The entire place was struck with awe as Jiang Peng was defeated. Over on the Imperial Profound Academy side, the faces of Jiang Peng's team members were filled with dismay. If even Jiang Peng couldn't defeat Ma Rulong, who else could? What was even more frightening was Ma Rulong's composure. His chest started to shine with a white halo immediately after he struck Jiang Peng. Without a doubt, it must have been the effect of some soul tool that was similar to the milk bottle. It was replenishing Ma Rulong's depleted soul power. The Imperial Profound Academy was stunned for a while before hesitantly sending a new team member up to the competition stage. However, what chance did they have left? Ma Rulong didn't display his strength any further. He only used the few soul tools that he had used before. Even so, no one could resist him with his precise control. According to Hui Yu Hao's observations, the only soul tool that could possibly be a class 7 soul tool was the golden cannon. The cannon shot out rays that were of extremely high temperature. These rays were so hot that even Ma Xiaotao's phoenix flames would be penetrated if they met. The referees even had to intervene in the following rounds of the competition to save the Imperial Profound Academy's team members. Ma Rulong eventually ended the remaining matches with his soul tools, and the Imperial Profound Academy dropped out of the tournament. The Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy reached the finals without a hitch. A lot had happened in this year's Continental Advanced Soul Master Academy Soul Dueling Tournament, 
but it eventually was still the pair of old rivals that would meet in the finals, Shrek Academy and the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy. Hui Yu Hao watched the entire competition carefully. On the way back to the Grand Imperial Star Hotel, he constantly pondered over something. Wang Yang was also doing the same. Hui Yu Hao was greatly moved by Ma Rulong's strategy and the entire competition process. Firstly, Hui Yu Hao learned that a soul tool created by oneself was the most appropriate soul tool to use. Ma Rulong had also showed Hui Yu Hao the strategy of a soul engineer. The key to Ma Rulong's successive victories lay in his control of the battle. They were stopped by two people when they were about to go up to their rooms after reaching the lobby of the Grand Imperial Star Hotel, oh. Wan Yang was walking in front, but he was blocked. He was stunned, and lifted his head to look at the two people blocking his way. They were two men who looked very ordinary in terms of appearance, but their figures were very peculiar. One of them had an abnormally large right arm, whereas the other one was very thin, but his head was huge, as if he were a big-headed doll. Wan Yang felt a chill in his heart, and said in a deep voice, excuse me. However, Wang Yang calmed himself down after a period of momentary shock. He nodded at Hu Yu Hao and said, Go and hear what they have to say. I will follow you. Wang Dong, Xu Sansha, the two of you can return to your rooms first. Wang Dong wanted to reject this proposition, but was dragged away by Xu Sansha. Xu Sansha shot a look at him, and Wang Dong finally understood what his intention was. It was obvious that Xu Sansha wanted Wang Dong to follow him to get reinforcements. He only left indignantly upon realizing this. He even shot a look at Hu Yu Hao before he left. Wang Yang was a little amused as he said, It's fine, you don't have to bring any reinforcements over. Since they have decided to intercept us here, they won't do anything. This is Star Luo City, and also the place where all the competing members of the tournament are staying. Xu Sansha chortled and replied, It's better to be wary. As he spoke, he dragged Wang Dong up. Hui Yu Hao proceeded to the resting area with Wang Yang. There were only the two weird guys there. While there were many guests going into and out of the hotel, none of them went to the resting area. Hui Yu Hao and Wang Yang sat across from the pair of oddballs. Hui Yu Hao asked, Why are the two of you looking for me? It must be my first time seeing the both of you. The big headed guy smiled and nodded. He answered, Of course. But we've observed you for quite some time already. If I'm not wrong, your first martial soul, which is also your main martial soul, must be your eyes, and your first soul skill must be something related to spiritual detection, and you can even share it with your compatriots. Through some special method, you've also managed to cultivate some kind of shock ability with your spirit. Based on my judgment, it's like the purple demon eyes from the Tang sect. Whereas your second soul skill from that martial soul should be something to do with bewitching others. I recall an ice worm from the north that uses such an ability to hoodwink its opponents. Am I right? The big-headed guy was called Lang Ya. His simple words caused a chill to go up Hu Yu Hao's spine. The feeling of being seen through seemed to have left him completely exposed in front of the other party. Fortunately, he was resilient. Although he was shocked, he did not say, how did you know? Upon seeing Hu Yu Hao's shock, the big-headed guy continued, let me introduce myself. My name is Lang Ya. This is my brother, Yu Dao. We are both from the body sect. I'm sure you've heard of the body sect before. Not only did the words body sect leave Hu Yu Hao horrified, but Wang Yang also opened his eyes wide, and his pupils shrank. Although the body sect rarely appeared in the world of soul masters, they were still very reputable. Among the few strange existences in the world of soul masters, evil soul masters undoubtedly took the top spot. And in terms of peculiarity and power, only the body sect could match up to the evil soul masters. Furthermore, the body sect was even more scary than evil soul masters in the eyes of most soul masters. While evil soul masters were powerful, they often appeared alone or in small groups. The body sect was a true sect. It was called the most mysterious sect in the world too. It was conceivable how many venerated the powers of the body sect. Hui Yu Hao and Wang Yang could never imagine people from the body sect appearing in front of them, because of the rarity with which they revealed themselves. But now they had come specifically for Hui Yu Hao. Wang Yang could figure out what they wanted without even asking them. But the strange thing was that he didn't seem very nervous. Lan Yang smiled at Hui Yu Hao and said, I shall not beat around the bush any further. We are here to bring you back to the sect, bring me back. Hui Yu Hao was stunned. He had never joined any sect before. 
On the other side, Lang Yue also retracted his spiritual power. He was cautious as he watched the newcomer, who had suddenly appeared behind Hui Yuhao and separated him and his brother. Hui Yuhao had also turned his body quickly by now. After a momentary daze, he revealed an intense look of surprise. Elder Xian, you're back. That's right, the person who had just appeared between Hui Yuhao and the two body sect members was an elder of Shrek Academy's Sea Gods Pavilion, Elder Xian. Elder Xian appeared as slovenly as ever. His enormous, oily hands were holding that familiar drumstick, and he carried a look of ridicule amidst the calmness in his eyes. He spoke as he looked at the two men from the body sect, we won't tolerate your nonsense. It's so ridiculous how people dare to climb over Shrek's head. The two of you are brilliant. You dare to poach our student. Who are you? Lang Yue was obviously the one in charge among the two from the body sect. At the same time, his aura became more authoritative. With his head as the center, the surrounding air up to a radius of one meter started to distort furiously. What was even more daunting was that he exerted all this increased pressure on Elder Xian. He was able to do all this without unleashing his martial soul. This revealed his immense control over his own abilities. Elder Xian snorted, are the two you from the second or third generation of the body sect? That old freak from your body sect wouldn't dare to stand so close to me if he were here, yet the two of you dare to. The rare strands of yellow hair on Lang Yue's head trembled a little. The distorted air around him dispersed, and his aura declined. He was shocked as he asked, you're from the Sea God's Pavilion, since the two of you know about the Sea God's Pavilion, you'd better scram, Elder Xian replied indifferently, on account of that old freak. I won't fuss over today's matter. You're still not up to it yet. I'm scared that old freak will accuse me of bullying the juniors. Yu Dao's right arm was still in pain, and he groaned furiously, don't think of bluffing us with your words. At least prove it to us. As he spoke, his right arm extended quickly again, ballooning in size, and eight soul rings suddenly appeared. The appalling thing was that his first four soul rings were purple thousand-year soul rings, and from the fifth soul ring on, they were black. He had four purple and four black soul rings. Not only did his soul rings carry a tremendous oppressive power, but they even superseded the ratio of soul rings that ordinary soul masters had. Elder Xian acted as if he didn't see it. When Yu Dao extended his palm toward him, no one could see his actions clearly before his hand was stopped. He was in a daze as he stood there, and his eyes were filled with fear. A chicken drumstick had been forced into his mouth. The drumstick's bone was at the tip of his throat, such that his throat would be pierced through if more strength were exerted. Furthermore, this drumstick had broken all of his teeth before it had entered his mouth. At this point, his lips were forced in, and all of his teeth had been crushed by a chicken drumstick. Lang Yue couldn't even help him in time. Elder Xian was too quick. If Yu Dao were bolder in his actions, he might have been able to strike Elder Xian. But the drumstick would have killed him too. That's why he did not dare to move, and only stood there in a daze. Lang Yue was not doubtful at all now, you, you are Dao Tai from the Sea God's Pavilion. Elder Xian darted a look at him, scram. Tell that old freak that I can still eat, drink, shit and sleep. Thank you, Elder, for your mercy. This time, Lang Yue became respectful. He slapped his hand behind Yu Dao's back, and Yu Dao spat out his broken teeth and the drumstick. The two of them turned and left the Grand Imperial Star Hotel in an instant. As he watched their leaving figures, Hui Yu Hao respectfully said in a hurry, Thank you, what? Body sect. Ma Xiao Dao immediately interrogated Hui Yu Hao as she dragged him into the room. Hui Yu Hao did not conceal the truth either. Everyone from Shrek was in the room too. After hearing the words body sect, Wang Dong, Xiao Xiao, Jiang Nan Nan and even He Kai Tu were only stunned. But the rest were extremely horrified, including Ma Xiao Dao. Is the body sect really so scary? Wang Dong asked doubtfully. Ma Xiao Dao nodded seriously and said, they are very scary. There's not many who can be mentioned in the same breath as Shrek Academy in the Dolor continent. The Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy is one of those who can. They represent the highest abilities of the Sun Moon Empire. All of you are the Academy's core disciples now, and it shouldn't be a problem for all of you to enter the inner courtyard in the future. I think it's fine if I tell all of you. There's a place called the Sea Gods Pavilion on our Shrek Academy's Sea God Island. The elders of our Academy live there, which includes Elder Xian. It's also the organization in our academy with the highest authority and power. 
Even the four current vice deans hold little authority in the Sea God's Pavilion. There's a saying in the world of soul masters that there are three strong powers on the Dolor continent. One of them is the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy's illustrious Virtue Hall. Another is our Shrek Academy's Sea God's Pavilion. The last one is the Body Sect. Does anyone know why the Sea God's Pavilion was established? The Body Sect's appearance once led to a huge catastrophe. Shrek Academy tried to resist them, but we lost. Shrek Academy was high-flying at that point in time too. But the Body Sect was even more powerful. To resist them, the Academy had no choice but to recall many of their top-ranked students and set up the Sea God's Pavilion. The Academy gathered all its strength to defeat the Body Sect and managed to avert a catastrophe. Ever since that incident, the Body Sect hid itself and never made any further movements. Hui Yu Hao was stunned as he asked, wouldn't the Body Sect be just like the evil Soul Masters if they threaten the continent? Why didn't the Soul Masters team up together to deal with them? Ma Xiaodao shook her head and answered, The Body Sect and evil Soul Masters are different. They are neither good nor evil, and they do things to achieve what they want. They are also very domineering, and thus they are not very popular among the others on the continent. But they did contribute something positive to the continent before. However, very little people know about it. It's almost impossible to get rid of the body sect. It's said that where they're located is the scourge of the earth. It's easy to defend and difficult for others to attack it. Without three times the body sect's abilities, it's almost impossible to penetrate their defenses. And how difficult would it be to gather a force that is both more than three times their ability and willing to sacrifice itself? Hui Yu Hao had never expected the body sect to be so powerful. No wonder they were not afraid of Shrek Academy. Ma Xiaodao continued, saying, the secret files in the academy did record the reappearance of the body sect once more. Occasionally, their members would also appear in the continent. But they didn't cause any huge uproar. Do you know what huge catastrophe the body sect almost brought about? All of you will realize how strong they are once I describe it. That time, almost 40 members of the body sect snuck into the Star Doe Forest and killed 700,000 year soul beasts. This led to a huge uproar among the beasts in the Star Doe Forest, and they rushed out of the forest in an attempt to mount an attack on us. This almost caused a disaster. The four great savage beasts of the Star Doe Forest teamed up to attack Shrek City. The reason why we stopped fighting with the body sect is because they joined us to resist the attack of the beasts. It was also during that time that we discovered that the body sect was above us in terms of overall ability. The wave of beasts that attacked ensued for a year, until the academy started to recall students back. At least tens of villages were massacred in that time. Eventually, we reached a compromise with the body sect, and their leader back then swore not to enter the Star Doe Forest to hunt hundred thousand year soul beasts anymore. This ended the catastrophe. However, the soul beasts in the Star Doe Forest were angered, and soul masters encountered powerful soul beasts much more frequently when they entered the Star Doe Forest for the next five hundred years. Hui Yu Hao focused and listened. He was amazed that the four great savage beasts actually existed in the Star Doe Forest. Part 1 Episode 43 End Here